picture this. Your jaws clamped shut, your skin feels like it's on fire, and your tongue tastes like pennies. Today, you'd just call it strep throat. But rewind 5,000 years. There's no germ theory, no doctor. The neighbours are whispering you've angered a god you can't even pronounce. Your only shot is a priest with a noisemaker. This is ancient medicine, where the cure could kill you faster than the disease. Mesopotamia, court of the angry gods. In ancient Mesopotamia, getting sick meant you'd insulted a god. A bricklayer feels ill, and the priest doesn't check his pulse. He scans the room for evidence of demons. The diagnosis, demon on the premises. The cure was a two-part plan. A priest chants a precise magic spell, while another healer mixes a paste of juniper berries and stale beer for your chest. If you lived, your bill was two goats and a bolt of wool. Health insurance was just divine extortion. Egypt, scrolls, spells, and surgery. In Egypt, they wrote everything down. The Ebers Papyrus was a 110-page how-to-not-die manual, with cures for everything from migraines to crocodile bites. If you had a throbbing abscess, a priest would recite a spell to banish the poison, then heat a bronze knife and lance it while rattling off lucky numbers. Afterwards, they'd pack the wound with honey-soaked linen, nature's neosporin, and give you a hippo amulet because nothing scares demons like an angry hippo. Greece. When gods begin to lose the case. Jump to ancient Greece, where a plague devastated Athens. The priest's best idea was dream incubation. Sleep in a temple and hope a god gives you the cure in a dream. The success rate was near zero. But then came Hippocrates. He ignored the gods and instead tracked the weather, the water, and a patient's symptoms. His radical theory? Sickness isn't divine punishment, it's environmental. This was the birth of evidence-based medicine. Still, he told patients to sacrifice a rooster to the gods, just in case. From paying gods with goats to the first medical charts, the history of medicine is a wild ride. If you want to see what happens next, follow along for the journey.